Hey folks, Rex Richardson here, back with your Daily Trumpet. Sorry about that break I took. I was on a cruise ship and had no idea that internet connectivity would be so difficult. Um, I also got caught up in doing vacation stuff, which has not happened in a long time. Travel all the time, it's always for work. So my wife, she gets to do a vacation sometimes, but I never do, so that threw me off too. <laughs> But we're back in the groove. Uh, it's a very busy time. Today is Tuesday, January... No, sorry. It's Monday, January 16th. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Today is MLK Day. Tomorrow is the start of classes uh, Virginia Commonwealth University, as well as for a lot of other schools. So I'm getting ready for the start of school, you know, lining up lessons, and we're going to be hearing auditions. I'm also getting ready for what's coming up for me as a player. So right now I'm kind of doing a bit of a a reset. I learned a bit about my approach to try to stay in shape on the ship. I was mostly practicing in my chute, so y'all recognize or the shush mood, I guess is probably a better way to pronounce it. Um, this was hugely helpful in keeping my chops together. I did get to play on board with a band a couple of times, but I didn't end up finding a good practice space where I can shed with an open horn. Um, and so the challenge I face is that I, I came back on Saturday the 14th and had to go straight from the airport to a jazz festival concert. A pretty heavy gig, you know, guys who hit pretty hard, uh, a two-hour concert. And I, I found there was kind of good news and bad news about my, my preparation approach. The good news is I got through the gig pretty well. I mean, I was mentally quite exhausted between coming off the boat and flying and then driving, and, you know, straight from the airport and it was a bit chaotic that way. But uh, the chops were fine. However, by the end, I man, I was, my chops were trashed. <laughs> so I wasn't truly conditioned for, for the gig. So my approach to getting past that is, you know, I got through the gig. It's fine. Every, everyone seemed, you know, um, fine with my performance. Uh, yesterday, I just took the day off on, on Sunday. It's like, it's, it's time, just, you know, let everything kind of regroup. I started again doing my fundamentals, my mouthpiece buzz stuff. I reset my my scales and fourths. I'm back to the first mode of harmonic mining and stick, stick with those for a minute until they seem more solid. Then move back to melodic minor, which seemed to be a little bit easier, and then get back into diminished and et cetera. And... I did my Clark studies routine and my long tones with flexibility routine. So everything's coming back together. I'm also getting ready for what's coming up. I've got a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of concerts coming up, and I need to be very organized in my preparation. Now, the thing I'm really excited about and uh, a little stressed about making sure I get it right is a recording session I, I have in March. So uh, let me show you a bit of this music. Okay, so... Here's a new concerto by the great British composer Peter Graham. So I'm very excited about this. Um, this is a piece that was supposed to be premiered really a couple of years ago, and COVID has continuously um, caused some delays to that. But we're going to get to record it in England this March uh, in the brass band version with uh, uh, Black Tyke Mills Band one of the most famous brass bands in the world, so I'm very excited about that. So my process is, you know, I, so this movement, I've looked at before. According to Peter, it's not going to be revised very much be, between now and the time we record it. Um, but so I, I got to kind of relearn it and just sort of double check with them if anything's going to change. There's some challenges, a lot of chromatic stuff. There's that um, challenge in cadenza. And I'm going to get into sort of planning my process, you know, isolating the difficult licks, starting everything very slowly. That's the end of the first movement here. The second movement is uh, going to be revised, so I'm not sure what it is yet. And I also have, let me get this third movement up. So here is the start of the third movement, just to give you a preview of that. It sets the tempo, half notes, dotted a half note or dotted minimum, I guess they would say, in the UK. Uh, 63. 
And so, of course, this will be pretty challenging as well. I gotta look through all of this, give you a sense of how this works. Got a few high notes to deal with. Um, I'm gonna have some improvisation over this harmonic setting. And let's see, gotta find my fourth page. So here's that fourth page, and get a sense of the gestures. That's at about 132 to the half note, I believe. And I got an improvised cadenza, so I've got to work on that. Again, some high notes to end with, got to end up on a high G flat at the very end. So what I'd like to do in the coming days is show you my process for digging into this piece. Again, the third movement is pretty much brand new to me, and I've got it recorded on March 9th. It's all going to come up very fast. And the other thing that's a bit of a stressful um, or a source of stress, I should say, is that we will not rehearse. We basically have to figure it out and lay it down in the recording session in one evening. So quite a challenge, and I look forward to showing you how I try to tackle it. I'm also going to show you how I chart out the rest of my projects, uh, basically January through May, as a way of um, making sure I'm well prepared to deal with all the repertoire and the settings I need to, to perform in. So, all right, thanks for watching, and... Um, See you tomorrow.